Hello and welcome to Tofu Cute TV, where you can get your fill of all things cute, tasty and kawaii! Whether you're a fan of Tofu Cute, enamel pins, kawaii things in general, or all three, today we're looking at something I'm sure you don't want to miss out on. Tofu Cute enamel pins! So these are series one of the exclusive designed by us Tofu Cute character enamel pins. I'm really hoping that one day we get series two because they're really, really cute. I can imagine so many more cute design ideas. Please Tofu Cute Gods, give us series two. There are eight different pins to collect and I've seen a lot of you guys excitedly collecting them and customers come into the shop who have them on their lanyards, their bags, their backpacks, their jackets. So let's take a closer look starting with number one, which is Tofu Kin. Here he is, it's Tofu Cute's very own kawaii and Ambassador. I'm sure you must have seen him before, he is on the logo for the site and at the beginning of the video you see him every time. If you know Tofu Cute then you've met Tofu Kun for sure. So just like in the channel intro he is doing a little winky face. And on the backing card he is actually at the Tofu Cute Portsmouth store which is so so fun to see. Profile number one, Tofu Kun. A cute smarty pants who helps motivate the other mascots. Kawaii Ambassador. Vegetarian. Ah, oh, nice. He likes Tofu Cute. Oh, me too. <laughs> All the staff, customers and other mascots are his kawaii family. He dislikes bullies, big and small. And his dream is to share Tofu Cute values all around the world. Spread love, respect and of course cuteness to everybody. How wonderful. I totally relate to that. It's pretty much my job. <laughs> Number two is Panda Chan, which is my favourite Tofu Cute character. I love Panda Chan so much. It was love at first sight. And that is why you see Panda Chan in the animation at the beginning of all the videos. Because Panda Chan is the best. So here we can see Panda Chan looking true to his original design as well. Got his little arms out, looking like he's ready for a hug. They've got a tire hanging from a tree. There's a big tasty bit of bamboo there. He's living the dream. Profile number two, Panda Chan. He's a keen eco-warrior, lifelong vegetarian, enjoys meeting people and giving hugs. Oh, I knew it. I could tell those little arms were stretched out for a hug. He likes making new friends. Dislikes duct tape. It doesn't exist in the world and gets stuck in his fur. Dream, to help humans learn small ways to help the planet. How cute is that? Number three, we have a classic. It is Alpaca. This one is so dreamy. Look at the, the backing card. It's got clouds and shooting rainbow stars. They're just like in a pastel galaxy dream world. I love how it's so fluffy. It's literally a ball of fluff with ears, face and feet. Profile number three. Alpaca. Loves dressing up in pastels. Oh, me too! Lives by the motto, if you can't love yourself, how are you going to love somebody else? Those are words of wisdom. And this alpaca is the life of the party. Wow. Likes shopping and chilling with his BFF. Dislikes being freshly shorn as he becomes much less fluffy. And his dream is to meet his idol RuPaul and become a guest judge on RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh my gosh. On to number four and it is Whip's Cat. Whip's Cat always has its little paws up like this. Little blushing cheeks and little whiskers as well. And as you can see, Whip's has done his business on the sofa. He's like, yeah, I put it on the sofa. What are you going to do about it? He does not care how you feel. Profile number four, Whip's Cat is prone to unexpected surprises a little too often. Has a love-hate relationship with his friend, the kawaii poop. Suspects he is related to royalty. Likes water polo. Water polo? Dislikes the water part of water polo. <laughs> Dream to give everyone he meets a nice surprise. Okay, I think we all know what that means. Ooh, number five, it is the kawaii poop. This time, kawaii poop is not on the sofa. He is sat on his throne, the toilet. I've got some pink toilet roll down there just to keep things kawaii. I can't deny that this is the cutest poop I have ever seen. Look at that, it's cute. Profile number five, kawaii poop, an accomplished prankster. Enjoys hiding in unexpected places. Considers himself a lucky poop. Likes dressing up in various disguises to trick his friends. Dislikes doing his homework. Oh, amen to that. And his dream is to create a kawaii poop army that will eventually take over the world, one toilet at a time. <laughs> this is why, you guys, you need yourself a poop pin. How else will kawaii poop be able to take over the world? Number six, and it's a really good one, it is seedling. Our little seedling is sat on a windowsill with little flower pots and there's a cactus there with a flower and a little bee buzzing around. Profile number six, seedling, is shy and often forgotten. I'd never forget you, seedling. Was freed by a kind gardener who saw that she was special. She is special. Goes from pot to pot helping seeds grow big. <gasps> oh, 
Oh my gosh. Likes taking naps. Dislikes being alone in the dark. She longs to grow up as she's so small, but she wonders what she'll grow into. Aww. I love this pin so much I would gladly have like at least seven of them on my jacket or my bag because it needs to be seen. Two more to go and number seven is nigiri. So nigiri is a little sushi which is rice with salmon on top and I love the design of this one. I love how fluffy the rice is and it just has the cutest face. Onigiri is in the bowl in the back there and I believe that's one of nigiri's siblings. Profile number seven, nigiri. One of the giri brothers. Sibling rivalry with Onigiri. <gasps> rivalry! Thinks he's the best because he's a fashionable sushi. I think I have to agree there. Likes strutting his stuff on the sushi belt to show off his outfits. Dislikes having nothing to wear. And his dream is to be a fashion designer. I think this Nigiri pin would be a really good gift for anyone who's into like fashion design or sushi. <laughs> and the eighth and final pin in the set is ba -ba -da -ba, Harry! I like to imagine that strawberry milk they've got in that bottle. This is a slightly more detailed pin but all of the features and lines are really bold so it's really nicely done. And look at those little feet! <laughs> Profile 8, Hammy. Trained for several years in Paris as a patisserie chef. Whoa, I had no idea. Loves visiting cute cafes to try the desserts. Collects Rayman. Oh my gosh. Likes having tea parties with her vintage toy friends. Dislikes early mornings. Dream to open up her very own kawaii cafe or bakery in London or Tokyo. This may be our most ambitious Tofu Cute character yet. I really like that they all have like different dreams and it's, it's, it's inspiring, you know? So there we have it. That was series one of the exclusive Tofu Cute enamel character pins. You won't find them anywhere else but at Tofu Cute and they're the perfect way to wrap your love off Tofu Cute or just kawaii things in general. I hope you love each one just as much as we do but let me know in the comments down below which pin is your favourite or which characters are your favourite. My favourites are definitely Seedling and Panda Chan. They're just so cute. If you want to see more cute stuff like this then give the subscribe button some love and ding the bell to receive a notification whenever we post a new video. And from all of us here at Tofu Cute, see you soon and stay cute.